Hey guys, Michelle here bringing you some more primal movement and fitness. Today we're talking about the kettlebell swing. The kettlebell swing is a phenomenal movement for your core, your glute strength, and for conditioning because it's going to bring your heart rate way up once you get really efficient at it and you get to do a lot of reps. What I need you to know is that you have to pre-qualify yourself for the kettlebell swing with a deadlift. So if you can efficiently pick something up off the ground, such as a kettlebell, without rounding from your back, so hinging from your hips, keeping your spine straight, and then dropping down to grab your weight from the floor. If you're able to do that efficiently, you've qualified for the kettlebell swing, okay? So make sure that you do that first. Once we're efficient there, we're gonna go ahead and do the swing. Optimally, you're doing this in sets of 10 when you get going, okay? So I'm going to give you a prescription of five sets of 10 on your first time trying this out, okay? All right, to pick up the weight, I'm standing almost a whole foot behind the weight. All right, I'm gonna drop into a deep hinge and deadlift position, pick it up and reach in front of me with the weight tilted at a 45 degree angle. From there, make sure my eyes are forward on the horizon about 10 feet in front of me. I'm gonna sweep the weight in between my legs and all the momentum come from my hips, okay? Commonly, you're gonna see people either squatting to do the swing or using their arms to do the swing. This is all from a hinge position, so my knees are just slightly bent, pushing forward or pushing backwards, and then thrusting forward to create the momentum. My arms are just a guide for the weight. If you're having a hard time doing the swing, I suggest this one drill, okay? I'm gonna go against the wall here. I'm gonna be one foot length away from the wall, feet hip width apart, slightly bend my knees, push my butt back to touch the wall. I'm gonna feel this deep hinge position. It's stretching through my hamstrings, and then from there, full extension through the hips. Inhale as I drop the butt back. Don't deep knee bend, just from the hips and then exhale as they come forward. Get a few reps in, come right back to your bell, looking in front of you. You've got your next set of 10, okay? Everybody go home and try that out, good luck.